Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to fix WD My Passport hard drive by swapping the PCB board. This is the damaged PCB board we received from our client. This picture shows the BIOS memory chip on the PCB board. As long as we can read the information from these two memory chips and then to transfer the information to the donor board, then we can use the donor board to rescue the hard drive. This picture shows where to find the PCB board number. The PCB board number for this model hard drive is on the green PCB board. As the picture shows, the number is very, very tiny, it is too small. Sometimes we do need the magnifier to see it, but uh, this is the number and the only number we can use to identify a PCB board to find the donor board. So it is critical, we have to read it correctly. We are going to continue to talk about how to swap the PCB board to rescue a hard drive. We are going to talk about how to find the correct donor board and how to do the PCB board from a transfer. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box input the board number and then click on go. Now the correct donor board is found. Please read item description part and follow the instructions. What is the PCB board firmware and why do we have to transfer this firmware? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The firmware includes the hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original bad PCB board to the good donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. This picture illustrated how the PCB board firmware transfer works. On the left hand side is the bad PCB board. On the right hand side is the good PCB board. We transfer the firmware from the bad PCB board to the good PCB board. Questions about the PCB board firmware transfer. What? We can do the firmware transfer from the burned, physically damaged, watered PCB board. 2. PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. PCB board firmware transfer is to copy the board firmware from one board to another board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or other PCB board. 3. We do firmware transfer for our clients for free. 4. We offer worldwide free shipping to ship the donor board to our clients. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most 
of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.